Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel Medical Lectures and Mnemonics. Uh, today I'm going to talk about on the proliferative legions of the uh, endometrium and the myometrium. But before discussing the proliferative lesion, I am going to talk about um, the anatomy of the uterus. So the uterus have um, three layers. One is the endometrium. Here you can see this black layer is called the endometrium and it is hormone responsive. And the other is myometrium which is the muscular layer of the uh, uterus. And uh, there is another layer which is present on the uterus which is called a perimetrium uh, or it is also called a serosa. So in this video, I am going to talk about on the proliferations of the uterus. And in the previous video, I have already talked about on the implementing condition of the uterus and the another pathological condition which was the endometriosis. Uh, so in this video, I am going to talk about on the proliferative lesions of endometrium. There are uh, three proliferative lesions. One is the endometrial hyperplasia, the other is the endometrial carcinoma, and the third is the endometrial polyps. So in this video, I'm going to talk about only an endometrial hyperplasia. Endometria so, mean uh, endometrium and the hyperplasia mean growth. So it is the overgrowth of the endometrium. I, or it is the uh, proliferation of the endometrial glands relative to the stroma. So what are the causes of the endometrial hyperplasia? Normally, the endometrium is responsive to estrogen and progesterone. And the estrogen is responsible for the endometrial growth. So uh, when the estrogen becomes in excess, it will cause the endometrium to, to grow more. So the, why the estrogen is, cre is increasing? Uh, the estrogen excess may be related to obesity. Uh, when a female becomes obese, she will have a high level of estrogen when, within her body. And uh, flavor of ovulation. That can, this can also cause the estrogen excess and polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is also a cause of the uh, estrogen excess and the estrogen replacement, which is the introduction of the estrogen from outside the body. And uh, the granulosa and theca cell tumor of ovary can also lead to uh, excess creation of the estrogen. So what are the types of endometrial hyperplasia? There are four types according to WHO or classification of the endometrial hyperplasia. One is the uh, hyperplasia without atypia. Hyperplasia without atypia and it is further divided into two hyper, simple hyperplasia without atypia and complex hyperplasia without atypia. And the second is hyperplasia with atypia. And it is also further divided into two types. One is the simple hyperplasia with atypia and a complex hyperplasia with atypia. So these are the four uh, types of the endometrial hyperplasia. Now, what is the uh, hyperplasia without, without atypia? It is the proliferation of the cell uh, in which there is no change in the in the cellular level. And uh, one is the simple hyperplasia without, without atypia without atypia and without atypia is actually the air regularity and cystic expansion of the glands of the endometrium there is uh, a, there is air regularities and cystic uh, expansion of the glands of the uh, endometrium boarding of the glands of the uh, endometrium is called um, hyper complex hyperplasia without atypia so in the hyperplasia with the type, there are no uh, changes in, uh, in the cellular level, Un only the cell uh, number are increasing. Uh, the second uh, type of the uh, hyperplasia is hyperplasia with atypia. It may be simple or complex. Simple hyperplasia with atypia and complex hyperplasia with atypia. In simple uh, hyperplasia with atypia, there will be irregularity and cystic expansion of the gland. While in complex hyperplasia with, with, with atypia, there will be crowding and boarding of the glands of the endometrium along with atypia, along with cellular changes. So in this hyperplasia with atypia, there will be proliferation of the cell along with changes in the cell will occur. So what are the changes that uh, occur in the, uh, at the cellular level of hyperplasia with atypia? So atypia are just the changes which is occur in the cancerous cells. So there will be cell stratification. Normally the endometrium is lined by a simple columnar epithelium. 
simple column negativity element and it is a uh, one layer and it can be converted in hyperplasia with a tpi into multiple layer which is called a cell stratification and the other is tufting in which the cell can uh, in which the cell can produce projection here you can see this is tufting and uh, loss of nuclear polarity normally the when uh, we uh, look at the cell for example this is the simple columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium normally there is irregular distribution of the molecules and organelle and this is called a polarity of the cell when this distribution become uh, regular for example it uh, all of the molecule may concentrate here or it may concentrate here this uh, this uh, condition is called loss of polarity and the uh, and nucleus become enlarged the nucleus become enlarged the nucleus become enlarged and there is increase in mitotic activity so these feature are the hallmarks for the atp one is the cell stratification the other is tufting of the cell and loss of nuclear polarity the other is enlarged nuclei and increase in mitotic activity so these changes are similar to the changes changes occurring in the cell in the cancer cell so the hyperplasia with the tpi have a high risk for the endometrial cancer to develop so it is a pre cancer lesion now diagnosis the hyperplasia of the endometrial uh, endometrium can be diagnosed by biopsy uh, biopsy and what is the treatment and the treatment is hormonal therapy uh, such as progestin progestin therapy or uh, uh, when the hyperplasia with the tpi occur it uh, can increase the risk for cancer so the hysterectomy can uh, give benefit to the patient so this was all about the uh, uh, endometrial hyperplasia for more video subscribe like so thanks for watching the video